My name is Grace Beck and I am a senior at the University of Sioux Falls here. We all go to school here. I am majoring in social work and minoring in psychology. So after I graduate in May, I'm moving to Des Moines and I'm going to start grad school through the University of Iowa. But it's not in Iowa City, it's in Des Moines. So I'm going to get my master's in social work like I said and I want to help homeless people eventually. So. I've always wanted to help people. My dad was a firefighter growing up, so I thought being a firefighter was the coolest job because he got to save people, literally. But as I got into high school, I kind of realized I don't really have like the physical like skill set, I guess you could say, to be a firefighter. And I also didn't want to work with a bunch of men like in a terrible work schedule. It just wasn't for me. So I thought maybe I would be a special ed teacher and help people. But then, I mean, I think I was like looking at colleges and looking through like the major options and I found social work and I just like, I immediately knew that's what I had to do. I've always wanted to help people. Grace is by definition the exercise of love, mercy, kindness, and favor. So I just feel like if I'm not being Grace and I'm not serving people, then who am I? When I was in middle school, my brother became a single dad, my oldest brother. And that was a big strain on my family, just like financially, emotionally, like occupationally. People in my household were always working, so who was taking care of my nephew? His name is Remington. So that was a pretty low point in my family's life, but then uh, since I was in middle school, I didn't have a job yet, and I was always around to babysit and help take care of my nephew. And I think that's when I definitely got passionate about helping people in need. Not just being like a dentist or a dental hygienist and helping people's teeth or an accountant helping people's taxes, but I wanted to help people who needed help, who maybe didn't have that family or they didn't have the finances or they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. This past summer, I had an amazing opportunity. I loved it so much at a child protection center, which it's not a CPS like it sounds like, but I watched forensic interviews. So like when an adult, um, say a woman is raped, sorry to throw that word out there, but if a woman is raped, it, she'll go to the police station, she'll get interviewed, she'll get a rape kit done on her, but if a kid is raped, you can't send them through that same process because it's so traumatizing, kids won't understand it, and it will ruin the rest of their lives. So I got to watch social workers who had master's degrees professionally interview these kids in a way that wasn't leading at all or wasn't suggestive or re-triggering to those kids. So that was really cool. That's another type of social work. Um, I have also had a brief internship at a homeless shelter, but that didn't really work out because I couldn't be with the social workers. Still great experience, but now I am interning at the South Dakota Network, and it's a definitely a different type of social work. We do a lot of grant writing. So if you think about domestic violence shelters, there's so many across South Dakota in rural areas, but domestic violence shelters aren't selling anything. So they don't make money. They rely on like donations, grants, but it's, it's South Dakota, so it's pretty slim. So what we do is we write a lot of grants for them and then we give them that money so they can operate. Social work is really hard to describe because it's such like a gray area. Common examples are like CPS, Child Protection Services. Those are social workers. They help kids who are going maybe through the welfare system or don't have very good parents or whose parents need help. Um, what I want to do is be a case manager for homeless people. So I would be working at a homeless shelter and I would be helping homeless people. Like I'd be sitting down with them being like, hey, you need a job? Here's how we get a job. You're missing your social security card. Here's how we get you a new one. You need a house? Like, how are we going to save up money for you? That's what I want to do. There's also a lot of um, social workers that work with domestic violence victims and help them find safety.